Wait, are you interested in getting into tech? Then you should definitely watch this video. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Gift and in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you some in-demand tech roles that are available for you to get into in case you're interested in getting into the tech industry. Now I know it's the start of a new year, this is the point where people are already making certain goals or making plans as to how they want their year to turn out. And I know a lot of people are looking at entering into the tech industry but they're not sure about the path to, to take. Now this video is for you if you're looking to get into tech as a probably new, new graduate or you're already working in a separate you know, career field and you're looking to pivot into tech, this video is definitely going to help you. Now in the next couple of minutes, I'm going to be detailing some of these different tech roles that I have to share with you. I went ahead to do my own personal research to find, try and get data points for you know, salary ranges for these roles, but because I reside in Europe and some of you probably uh, in Nigeria or some other parts of the world, the numbers might not correlate. So I decided to just take that out of this video. But if you're interested in getting data points as to how much salary some of these rules pay for an average or a mid-level um, career person, what I would advise is for you to do your own personal research. There are a lot of places you can check for data about salary ranges online. So I'll leave a few links in the description to help you, but I won't be specifically stating salary ranges for each of these roles. So let's get into these roles that I want to share with you. This role I'd like to share is software developer. A software developer is someone that creates software that solves real life problems. Now, if you're looking at becoming a software developer, there are different paths you could take. You could either go through the route of becoming a front-end developer or a back-end developer. Now, a front-end developer deals with the client-facing applications, like they are the ones that build what you can see. If you go to a website, everything you see on the website is built by a front-end developer. While backend, on the other hand, they deal with you know the network, the systems, the infrastructure that happens behind the scenes that you don't get to see, right? So you can either go the route of becoming a front-end developer or a back-end developer. Some of the responsibilities of a software developer is first they create and design you know software systems and application. They also write code and they test code. They also design and implement new features that are added to some software system. And finally, they also interact with other stakeholders in the software development circle. This could be UI designers or product managers or security analysts. The next role is blockchain developer. The demand for blockchain developers has grown over the years. Like now that there are a lot of people interested in web3 technology or decentralized you know finance there there's a lot of demand for blockchain developers right now but really what what's a blockchain developer and what do they do a blockchain developer is someone who develops application for blockchain infrastructure architecture their day-to-day -day tasks involves them building application or um, implementing algorithms that would work or run on the blockchain protocol now this is very high level but if you're interested in really getting into each of these tech areas that I'm specifying, what I would advise is to also do additional research added to the things that I'm already sharing in this video because what I'm only doing here is just telling you about the rules, telling you what your typical day-to-day -day task is but if you really want to get into it, I would really really advise to do some additional research. You know, I'll also try to leave a lot of links in the description that will help you with your research. The next role is a DevOps engineer. Now, a DevOps engineer is an IT professional that works with software developers or system engineers, and their role involves seeing the application to code release and production. Now, a typical day-to-day -day for 
a DevOps engineer involves them working with software developers to, you know, introduce processes, tools, and methodologies that would help see your application from the beginning of the software development life cycle to the end. Now, what that means is they help balance the need throughout the software development life cycle from coding to deployment. Next role is QA engineers, quality assurance engineers. A QA engineer monitors every phase of a software development cycle from design to development to testing to debugging and delivery. A QA engineer ensures that the software is tested and working properly before it's deployed to production. Some of their day-to-day -day activities include setting standards that developers should follow, writing automated and manual tests to make sure that you know, the application is bug-free. They analyze and identify bugs before the app is deployed to production. They work with other stakeholders and developers to ensure that the application is delivered on time. Finally, the last rule I'd like to share is a cybersecurity analyst. Now, a cybersecurity analyst is a trained cyber professional that specializes in IT and network infrastructure security. A cybersecurity analyst protects company hardware, software, and networks from cyber criminals. Their primary role is to make sure that the company's IT networks or infrastructure is protected and you know, secured from any kind of breach whatsoever involving cyber criminals. So that's what you do as a cyber security analyst. So those are the five tech roles that are in demand that you can get into in 2022. Now, for you to get one step closer to being in tech, what I would advise is, you look into these roles, find the one you're interested in, and go on to do more research to see how you can actually get started. Let me know in the comment section if you would have any questions specific to any of these roles that I shared, or if you want me to share more lights on any of these roles. In another video, I'm going to share tech roles that require you to not have any coding experience. Because for some of these roles that I shared, you need to have some form of coding experience. So in another video, I'm going to be sharing some tech roles that don't need you to have coding experience. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.